<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you all, and good evening. Mickey Sabbath's older brother, Morty, a B-25 bomber pilot, is shot down over the Japanese-occupied Philippines. He is killed at the age of 20. He is killed just two years out of Asbury Park High School and eight months, a mere eight months, before the unconditional surrender of Imperial Japan in August 1945. The surrender ended the war that had begun with the calamitous Japanese surprise air assault against the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. That had occurred four years earlier on December 7th, 1941, a date, as President Roosevelt said, that will live in infamy. The following day, December 8th, 1941, the President reported to the U.S. Congress <clears throat> on the near crippling destruction by the Japanese of the U.S. Pacific Fleet and the death of 2,300 U.S. servicemen. Congress then voted to declare war on Japan and America entered World War II. Here is Mickey Sabbath some 50 years later, at the age of 64, <clears throat> excuse me, remembering the afternoon that his family got the news about his 20-year-old bomber pilot brother, with whom he had shared a bedroom all his life. From my novel, Sabbath's Theater, published 19 years ago. It was a Tuesday in December 1944. I came home from school and saw some cars. I saw my father's truck. Why is that there? I knew something was wrong. In the house, I saw my father in terrible pain, in terrible pain. My mother, hysterical, her hands, her fingers moaning, screaming, people there already. A man had come to the door. I'm sorry, he said, and gave her the telegram, missing in action. Another month before the second telegram arrived, a tentative, chaotic time, hope, fear, searching for any story we could get, the phone ringing, never knowing, stories reaching us that he'd been picked up by friendly Filipino guerrillas. Someone in his squadron said he passed them in the flight, he was going on the last run, the flak got very bad, and Morty's plane went down, but in friendly territory. The second telegram. The month before was terrible, but not as terrible as this. The death notice was like losing another brother. Devastating. My mother in bed thought she was dying, afraid she was going to die too. Smelling salts, the doctor, the house filling up with people. It's hard to be clear about who was there. It's a blur. Everybody was there. But life was over. The family was finished. I was finished. I gave her smelling salts and they spilled and I was afraid I killed her now. The tragic period of my life between 14 and 16. Nothing to compare with it. It didn't just break her, it broke us all. 